Alright, we're back once again, and we're here to talk about Gamera 3! Uh, Revenge of Iris. Iris, yes, the one. Sorry, I just remembered what the title was. There's the inside of that. Look at that. Woo! I do like that cover, but uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's like to have just the original covers. This cover is really deceptive, let's be honest. Uh, look at him like, oh, it's like zombie Gamera. I thought it was some kind of zombie Gamera shit, but... I don't know, it, we get like a, a Gamera grave at the start, and I was like, holy shit, is Gamera dead? That's how he was just starting a Gamera film, is like, some kind of Gamera's dead? Yeah, I thought it might be, oh, we get like, baby of Gamera or some shit. But, no, 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 we don't. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I also just realised this, this is a PG. Fucking what? This is rated PG? Oh, 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 what a fucking world! Like, I've got... Like, downstairs I've got some, like, Miami Vice, like, Blu-rays. Uh, those are all rated 18, and that's, like, you know, primetime American TV show. I'm like, okay, yeah, there's gun violence and everything. I guess it's the drugs that does it, but... This is a PG? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, okay. I see I've won a PG, so I just want to double check. Okay, I mean that's less I put. Some. Okay, um, so this one is the final one of the uh, like Heisei era trilogy uh, in this set. Um, this it basically is a trilogy that were kind of all yeah written and directed by the same people. Um, and it's really good. It's yeah. You know, I, at some point, I do want to watch all three together, maybe. Because um, I honestly think they're some of the best... They're, uh, yeah, some of the best kaiju films in general. Uh, which I didn't think I'd be saying that about Gamera, but... Yeah, no, these are fucking great films. Honestly, that I highly recommend all three of them. Holy shit, is it good. Um, yeah. It's we basically start off with like, um, well, basically Zack Snyder, uh, Zack Snyder uh, ripped off this opening really um, for Batman vs Superman because um, uh, I'm like main main antagonist protagonist they kind of protagonist hmm. uh, make us antagonist because they're kind of the villain but they eventually come around um, yes yeah, so you have your, your main villain who's basically her parents were killed. Um, during the attack in the first film, yes, no. So I'm just trying to remember. No, it's the first film. Um, my parents were killed in the first, uh, basically during the events of the first film. Um, I, I may be wrong. No, I'm, I'm right. Um, yeah, Gamera accidentally hit, hits the building, uh, killing killing your parents because they didn't leave in time. They they were look at, gonna get the car and then didn't and then they end up dying. But she she was just in the car and like oh we gotta go back to the house and we're taking some pictures and it's kind of not really Gamera's fault. A lot of people had already left. It's eh, kind of on them. Um, but yeah, they they, they Gamera, Gamera accidentally killed them. So this girl basically just like, I want revenge. I want revenge. She kind of finds this. Um, she kind of finds a pendant very similar to the one in uh, the f the first two films for Gamera. Um, the girl from the first two films has one uh, that gets destroyed in the uh, second one, so uh, Gamera can defeat Legion. Um, but she kind of has a very similar pendant, and she forms uh, kind of this bond with this uh, slightly creepy creature. It looks right in the start, but yeah, then uh, becomes, uh, she calls it Iris, um, after the, her cat. Um, yes, yeah, so she has like this kind of creepy bond. It tries to absorb her, uh, is the best, I d it's hard to tell, I'm, I may have to rewatch this film too fully understand it or understand what's going on because there's some elements of it like I think overall this film is maybe one 
the best looking, um, but I think it's slightly weak in some of the elements they introduce, for me personally. Um, the kind of main... So obviously she's the antagonist for the film, really, because she's the one working, kind of harboring this Iris who look looks pretty cool as a villain. Anytime it, there's a little bit of, uh, it looks a little bit shaky um, when it's like full CGI, um, but that's not that much in the film. And yeah, tell me another film from 1990, uh, 1999 that doesn't look like so shaky CGI. But yeah, most of it is done for via the uh, suits still, because obviously at, at this point that's going to be the best way to yeah for stuff to look good. Let's be honest. Suits are the way to go at the in this at this point. Like they're not gonna look. There's no way that like CGI is gonna look any better than suits, um, and that's perfectly fine. I know I know that I, I did look so see some reviews. I'm like, ooh, suits. I'm like, oh fuck off. It's like fuck off. <laughs> suits are gonna look far better than CGI can. That's just a fact. And obviously, yeah, camera, the virtue of the camera for series, they're gonna be on a lower budget as well because the you know, the studio's kind of gone out of business. Um, or they already went bankrupt, and then I think they went bankrupt again, or they were bought out. It's it's, con it's confusing their studio. It's hard to keep track of all, all of them. Um, but yeah, so you, but you also have like two other main villains who are there to be evil. That one guy is just I am evil. He's like a game developer who creates this like, kind of simulation type game to. Yeah, I've kind of kaiju attacks, uh, essentially, on a Dreamcast. Uh, because this is 1999, which is the year of the Dreamcast. Um, yeah, and there's also the death. Uh, this is the last kind of camera film for a little bit. Because um, there, there was plans to do a fourth one, but it, this film just didn't earn enough uh, to warrant it, unfortunately. Which is a bit sad. I would have liked... I, I, I would 100% be down for a... More films in this, you know, part of this trilogy, but we didn't get it. Um, but yeah, the, the vague villains, they're, they're kind of mm, evil, mm, and they, they're only like exist. Only re reason in the plot is basically to get them to drag this girl who, um, she basically goes into a coma after she's absor absorbed into this creature and then gets kind of cut out of it, and then they kind of get her to, um, into like kind of the m main city, and that's kind of really their only point in the plot is to just get the main character into the city. That's about it. Um, that's not honestly her, the, her main point. Uh, there's quite a few characters from the previous uh, two films, which is good. Like I said, his, I love the fact that this, this is one continuous story. Like, I know the Heisei era is also the same thing in uh, Godzilla. Um, but there's rarely have any actual human characters that continue on from one to the next film. Like, they're continuous, yes, but there's really not, like, other than Godzilla, there's not really a lot of connectivity tissue to between each individual film, which, yeah, I think that's my my kind of, uh, maybe my main problem with that series. Um, I, well, I love them all. I don't think there's any weak films in that series. In that series, there's just not really anything kind of connecting the films, other than Godzilla himself, and you know they they occasionally reference the previous films. Um, but that's enough about that's enough about Godzilla. This is all about Gamera. Uh, I did think looking at this poster, I was like, oh shit, we're we gonna get like zombie Gamera. Um, but that, that wasn't the case. Which is sad because the, the, there's. There's two camera suits in this. One from the kind of uh, visions this girl gets, uh, who is a refurbished version of the suit from the f uh, second film, um, and also portrayed by the actor who was in that film, um, in the in the suit and camera. And then there's a new actor in the, the new camera suit. I didn't really notice personally. I didn't really notice much difference. I I did watch these films about uh, three weeks apart. So that might have hurt it a little bit, me not recognizing the difference. But then again, 
uh, people in Japan watch these uh, watch between two and three, uh, about three years apart. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, but that that was just like a nice touch I, I learned online. Um, and yeah, like I said, that's that. But we do get like the main character from the uh, previous two films who had a connection with Gamera. I think we get like another scientist lady. Uh, this whole series is like very like female focused. Like this trilogy is very much like a lot of female leads, uh, which I was like, oh, in the nineties as well, and not just like we're badass women who are known martial arts and kick ass. Like it's just no, it's just just women. No, just normal women. Oh my god, what is this? What what is this? Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's just a, a nice refreshing thing. Um, like I said, I, I, I honestly do like this. I really like this this trilogy. Um, like I said, I, I would have loved to see more of it. Um, Gamera looks cool as all. Or how? Oh, can we just t talk about? So the final scene looks like the final like act looks amazing. The like destruction you see on the buildings. Uh, the, like the, especially the main building where like the kind of final fight is taking place, it looks so cool and like Gamera could, like gets like visit is kind of get like blood absorbed from like his hand, um. So then Gamera literally just goes, "Oh, you're trying to absorb stuff from my hand. All right, fuck my hand. Just fucking blast his own arm off in a fucking badass way. It is like, oh, I love it so much." It just looks so fucking cool. And just like, ah. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, oh. Oh. I love it. I know he has like a burning fist type thing where it's like kind of, yeah, it's not there, but obviously because his limbs also, you know, transform into like the kind of jet. So he kind of just uses like a jet to just fucking burst into. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, oh. It's just. I'm just. Oh. This is so cool. Um. Because he, sa he saves, like, the girl, because the girl gets absorbed a second time. Uh, and he kind of, he, he saves her. Because camera's, camera's cool. Um, and then, yeah, basically burning fists and just, oh, Yeah. Whew. But. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else I want to say. Um, what else we got? Yeah. Uh, we've got the camera. Camera's cool. Um, there's kind of a few horror elements like this iris creature before it becomes like fully big form it kind of kills a lot of people in a village and that's that's got some a lot of horror elements to it and it's like whoo um, there's a lot of talk of like the uh, Gaios, the guys kind of back um, wreaking havoc but also kind of getting destroyed um, I'm trying to remember why that was I think just cameras going out destroying them uh, but he's also destroying a lot of the buildings and stuff. Uh, I think it seems like Gamera is going a little bit all out at the moment. Um, near the start of the film. And basically it's the humans to kind of turn on Gamera. Because they're like, yo, Gamera, could you not? Um, which is, yeah, maybe, maybe the my, my, my problem there. Um, Gamera does to And then everyone just yeah, turns on Gamera. It's like, well, do, do, I mean, yeah. Like, yeah, this, it's, it's shitty. The city's getting destroyed. But also... It's better than the Gaius. It's like, yeah, it's the lesser of two evils of, like, do I want everyone to be killed or not? Hmm. Yeah, everyone kind of quickly turns on Gamera. It's like, oh, come on, guys. Um, come on, guys. Gamera's our friend. Mm. Yeah, overall, amazing, tr like, end to a, a trilogy that uh, I loved. I loved this film. I, I can't, I can't say enough about it that this is a great film and it's a great trilogy all three films are just just great like and i i can't wait to i'm gonna probably watch them again um at some point but uh yeah that's enough of me rambling about this film and how, how great this is so next we're gonna be talking about uh well next week we're gonna be talking about this film right here gamma the brave Hmm, this is interesting. But if you want to watch that, you'll have to tune in for the next video. And hopefully I'll see you there. But for now I say, live long 
Ben Prosper.